If you're like me and have been longing for a way to remotely view an elderly relative's iPad or iPhone and maybe even control it, iPad OS 18 and iOS 18 now offer this feature in uh, FaceTime SharePlay called Remote Control. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm doing it iPad to iPad. It can also work iPhone to iPhone. But according to Apple documentation, in my tests, it does not work iPhone to iPad. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get in a FaceTime call. Let's say me and my aunt. Of course, you see me on both screens here. But um, what you do now is to get in FaceTime, of course, you've got to be in your contacts and they need the FaceTime app. You both need to be running version 18 of iPad OS or, or iOS 18. Now, what you're going to do down here on your side is a little share button. Tap that and you're going to ask to share. Now, previously, you could talk to your mom and say uh, okay share out your screen which might be hard for her but now she'll get a prompt so you see the prompt there so all she has to do is tap that and now her screen is shared now since the since it's looking at the camera that's why you get the blurred image so you have to ask her to tap the home button and now I can see her screen and what I can do now is instead of trying to tell her well you know that little icon that looks like um, two diamonds on top of each other uh, one's red and one's blue for shortcuts I can say this icon and she sees it now that's nice and that could solve a lot of problems but let's say you want to remote control her so what you need to do now let, let me just get my picture out of the way here so on this when it's full screen you notice I have a looks like a finger with a, a button I'm gonna tap that on the phone it looks a little different because it's um, down at the bottom Okay, so now she gets another pop-up. Very easy. She taps that. And now I can say, uh, let's go take a look at your settings. So when I do this, you notice her screen? I go into settings. And so now I can do things, and um, which is really pretty neat. So if she's having trouble me uh, explaining something, I can actually actually uh, control it so now you might wonder well how do I get back to the home screen see right here in the middle between uh, right next to the remote control button there's a home button if I tap that I uh, when I get back to her home screen and now once you're done what once you're done with that of course you could hang up the FaceTime call and which is if you see the little uh, clock icon here how it's changed I now tap it you see I can exit there but you might say well I really don't want to exit the FaceTime call I just like to get back to regular FaceTime with her so what's the funny thing you need to do here is you can ask her to stop sharing which you could do by tapping that little button up there too that's a little bit hard so what so what you want to do is share your screen and and then you can exit screen sharing so now so now we're back to this and now we can go to my little button here where's my controls drag here and stop screen sharing and so now we're back to doing just a, a video 
a FaceTime call with her. I know, <clears throat> I know the controls are a little confusing, but it really works well, especially, you know, iPad to iPad as I'm doing, or iPhone to iPhone. But in my testing in the Apple documentation, it does not work from iPhone to iPad. 